Hi, my name's Jeff, and I've had multiple skin cancers due to sun damage I've accumulated over the years. I've also been diagnosed with atinic keratosis, or AK, which are precancerous lesions due to that sun damage. And one of the things that my doctor had recommended was that I do a topical cream and put it on those places where I have that AK damage to see if I can avoid those turning into a cancer in the future. So as I was researching this treatment, trying to figure out, did I want to do it? What was it like? What was I going to be going through? I noticed there was really a lack of good materials on it. So that's the purpose of this video. As I go through this treatment over the next month and recover from it, I'm going to do a video diary so that you can understand what the treatment is like and then what are the changes that you could expect that occur to you by how they occur to me. Hi, so I'm updating my video diary. It's about the fifth day that I've been putting this cream on my face. And so far the experience has been good. Um, I haven't really noticed any inconvenience, some itching, other things like that. I think the biggest thing I've noticed is uh, my face is starting to feel a little more sensitive, almost like I've got a slight sunburn in, in a couple places. And as the cream is there, then I, I, uh, I'm feeling uh, like, you know, I might need to moisturize it a little bit. It's a little sensitive. Um, and it, you know, occasionally it feels itchy because of the cream, I think, itself. But uh, overall, it's been uh, very good. Uh, I haven't really noticed uh, any significant reddening yet or anything. Um, some slight reddening, but it's hard to tell if it's really uh, from the cream or you know, other things. So, um, so far, so good. All right, so it's about 12 days into the treatment at this point, and you can see my face is actually very red at this point, and you know, actually it's, it's uncomfortable. Um, there's a very, uh, almost like a sunburn feeling to my skin right at the moment, and uh, it's very tender and raw. Um, so what I've been doing is putting on aquifer uh, uh, cream after uh, I put the treatment on a little bit to sort of just keep it from being really dry and tight. It is actually soothing and uh, does feel good. I know you can put other creams on. I happen to be using this one. But uh, 12 days in, you can really see the effects of the cream. And, um, you know, all these red places are places that, you know, are problem areas. So I'm thankful for that. But it, it, it is uh, uncomfortable. I wouldn't say it's painful, but it, it's almost like a, a sunburned at this point. Um, but I have no trouble sleeping or anything else like that. It's just, just a little tender. So uh, 12 days in, and, you know, this is the results. Okay, I'm about three weeks into the treatment now. You can see that the effects are pretty dramatic. I've got a tremendous amount of redness on my face. Uh, how do I feel? Uh, I can tell you that, uh, you know, my face is very itchy. Uh, feels like uh, tender. Feels like I, you know, I have a sunburn, significant sunburn. Have a little trouble sleeping. Uh, I've been putting cream and other things on it in between the treatments. That has made a significant difference. You know, I've been feeling my face peel and other things like that. So, you know, I still have another week left on the treatment. So uh, it's getting difficult to want to put this on just because, you know, it is painful and certain parts of my face I actually feel like are swollen and some other things. So, um, you know, the, it's having the effect it's supposed to, but, you know, it is uncomfortable and, uh, you know, it's a little embarrassing to go out like this. But, um, What's happening is what's supposed to happen. So at least you can get a good idea of what kind of effect you would have based upon, you know, what kind of damage you have to your face. Hi, good news. Uh, I'm just back from my dermatology appointment after one month and he told me I could stop using the topical cream and stop the treatment so I can start getting better and stop looking like this. What I want to do is just update you from the last video diary and uh, you know, that was really the, the week between week three and four. And what I can say is that, that was probably my hardest week. Uh, my skin was extremely tender. I'd wake up in the morning and even though I might have put uh, aquifer or some kind of lotion on my face, it had dried out during the night and my face would like be very uh, tender. My skin dry, felt stretched, even swollen. So, you know, it was uh, actually a very painful last week. Uh, and I found the only comfort I could get is if I definitely kept my face well uh, covered and smoothed and so on. And that was the, the, that was the only thing that really uh, helped me. 
um, but you know my my skin was getting very tender. I, you know, as you can see, it really feels like a severe sunburn. Uh, and my skin was peeling and it was itchy and red and blotchy everywhere where I had a reaction to the topical cream. But um, good news is I'm, it's over. Uh, I had the re reactions that I needed to. All these spots will come back, will look better. And you know, you'll see in the, the following videos coming up, you'll see my recovery from this. Okay, this is my last video diary. It's been about six months since I completed the treatment. And as you can see, my face is uh, really back to normal. Um, I could do everything I could do before the treatment, go out in the sun, other things like that. Uh, sun doesn't bother me. However, I do use sunscreen and other things to try to protect myself better than I have done in the past. Um, I've really had no side effects from the treatment. Really, everything's back to normal, no pain, other things like that. I can think of only one thing that I can see as a side effect of the treatment is that if I look closely at my skin and where I had some of the more severe reactions, um, if I look closely, the skin still has a tinge of red to it um, and it's never really come back completely to what may have been uh, the skin prior to it. Uh, and I think that's just because of how fair I am and you know how damaged my skin is from uh, the sun, but it's not anything I can other people see. I'm not embarrassed to go out or anything else like that. And you know, really, things are back to normal. And I'm extremely glad that I did the treatment, even though it was uh, very inconvenient and painful for the time that I did it through that first uh, six weeks or so before my skin started to go back to normal. So I hope this video diary has been helpful for you to understand the treatment and the effects on you. And I would love to hear any comments you have about the video or uh, my diary. Uh, and I most importantly wish you the best of luck with your treatment and I hope things go as well for you as they've gone for me. Good luck.